Hello, we are back to playing the Doom Core trilogy, and currently we are on the second episode of Reverie, which is called Armageddon Valley. So, actually, I was thinking, uh, even though I removed the death exit, I wouldn't mind starting this one over with a pistol start. So, I could make it at least one of these. I'm starting over like a new episode. Of course, we start in a crashed ship. Surrounded by our favorite enemy, the chain gunner. <laughs> and of course with the death exit, like I said, when it used to be in the map, at least in the original release for Reverie, it had the player dummies that were standing there that died, so it's kind of like the idea that you were on a ship with some other Doom Marines, but it crashed and they died and you somehow lived or survived the incident. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> already running out of ammo. There we go. Shouldn't be too bad now. But yeah, I kind of like the simplicity of the ship and it kind of going into the dirt. One of the wings broken off. I think for this map's inspirations, um, uh, it's just a little bit of actually probably a few things between, uh, I kind of wonder what inspired the ship though in particular. Maybe something sort of like Icarus maybe in general. And maybe Clemus too, a little bit. Or actually, no, what am I saying? It's also Icarus, I'm thinking. It was one of the authors of uh, Clemus too was involved also with Icarus and Alien Vanguard. So, I guess I'm getting some of that mixed up a little bit. See you hiding there. Wow, good shots there. <laughs> I think, uh, oh, there's some health. So I can't go that way, there's just this branching path here. Which isn't really much of a branching path, it all leads to the same place. I know there's probably some secrets here too. Pretty sure there's a berserk pack. Could probably get it shortly. If I really need to anyway. This is really tight combat though, that's kind of the downside. Some of these areas, it could have made some of this a little bit bigger, or wider, I should say. Anyway, not too bad, though, all things considered. Okay, I'm sure it's this candle here, because there's two candles, and all these other ones have one, so... Yeah. I didn't flip the switch just yet. I know there's going to be two arch files waiting for me. Wonder is there any other? No, I don't think there's another secret. I know also if I actually walk past both of these arch files, because I kn knew it was going to be easy for the player to think, oh, see, they're just in cages, so I can easily avoid them and run past them. But if you do that, then the doors behind them will open up and they'll actually teleport into the map, which actually makes them more dangerous. So it does kind of force you a little bit. But not entirely. I mean, you could go right past them. Maybe I'll destroy one of them and walk past and see what happens. I think maybe it's this way. Yeah. Where are they? They went somewhere. I don't know where, though. Already running out of chain gunner ammo. Chain gun, <laughs> not chain gunner. Just wary of my surroundings here. <laughs> That's kind of funny with the scrolling texture there. Such a doomy thing to do. I know there's another secret around here. I think it's directly across. Yeah. Across from where the chain gunner was, anyway. 
get some good items here. And this is clearly influenced from uh, John Romero map. I think the uh, one of the uh, what is it? It was against the wickedly and had like the lava and wood and a bunch of health bonuses. I think just kind of sitting out and then a marker for a mid texture you can pass through. I think. So there's a little bit of a number of things here and there. I know there's a secret over there, but I think I'll deal with these guys first. Get him while he's good and distracted. There's a couple more secrets over here by the torches. Yeah, I do like this as a uh, kind of smaller map intermission somewhat, also considering uh, some of the other maps. Ah, yes. <laughs> so, let's see. This one's brighter than the other ones. I think this gives me a mega armor. Or no, it doesn't, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's right. This was actually a secret for telefragging the uh, pain elemental. So I guess I kind of lost the ability to trigger that secret properly and then of course the green torch. And there's one more here which is marked out with this like small difference in the rock texture. I think it might have been the same in the original release. I think it might have changed it slightly for this release. It's like a darker rock texture but in the original it was uh, it's probably the other variant of this same texture, but with the rock holes in them. Anyway, I'll grab that. Oh, what was that? There he is. <laughs> but yeah, it was... Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Just one more secret. It's for the soul sphere. It's all the secrets and all the kills, so it's pretty much it for this map. I think this section kind of reminds me a little of excavations from Icarus, and then probably the ship also was inspired somewhat, and well, there's a little bit of John Romero, just a little bit of thing, some different authors here and there. some good items. really like the sky for this second episode, of course. And that's pretty much it for that map. Not much else to it that I can remember. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next map. Take care.